Yar. It be Grux, the duck farmer's pirate hat here, and I be uh, recording on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. Yar. And this be a great place to be if you be a... Oh, wait. <laughs> Howdy folks, this is Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I've had this hat for quite a while, and I figured today, since I want to do something a little nautical, that I'd put it on and do a little nautical stuff. And uh, right now, I am in my uh, little teeny tiny room here on top of my building, and yeah, there's nothing that can really go in here, it's teeny tiny, but I can get in... If I stand on that trap door and open up the other one, I can get into here, but then I can't get out anymore because the the height of the trap door is such that I can't, but I can get it home. <laughs> That's that easy. Yay! So uh, since we last had our, our talk and I went ahead and took away the luck because I went, eh, and added a second health boost. So now I've got four extra hearts there because yay. And that's a good idea. And yeah, I may put the, the luck back on. That's easily done. But I wanted to do something kind of piratical here. So we got some gray wool and some sticks. Let's make a gray banners. And uh, come over here, put that in this. And it gives it a gradient, a black gradient from black on top down to solid gray on the bottom. So we'll grab those. And then over here, yar, let's put a little uh, piratey sort of... Uh, skull and crossbones on there and let's hop down here uh because i built something over here yes i got myself a pier sticking out into the water it's it's kind of uh, messed up over on that side but you know that happens and yeah i had to sink the the pier shafts all the way down to the bottom those aren't piers those are the pylons whatever the, the name of those thingies are. And uh, we've got uh, two already here. Let's go ahead and stick one right there and one right there. Uh, what I would like to do is build me a boat out here. And, uh, you know, you get something. I've got this water here. Why can't I build something here? Let's do that. Uh, I've got, if I've calculated everything, I've got all the bits and bobs I need here. And I'm going to do something that I super, super rarely ever do. I'm actually going to build this using Schematica, but I'm going to do this in a time lapse. And the reason why is because it's a really fiddly boat. And I tried doing this once already just by following the, the Schematica and putting the right places in Oh, it was really hard. I was looking on my other screen where I had the, the schematica spread out and oh, it was looking really, really ugly when I came back and I went, uh, no, this is not good. So I broke it all down and, and I'm going to rebuild it. Also, underwater, the, the, the stuff underwater, I could not know what needed to go where. And some are stairs and some are slabs and, and I was having real problems. But I do have some sponges here, which means once I get the hull laid out, I should be able to just drop the sponges, get all that water out of there really fast, and yay, it will be looking much better. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start up a boat.
And there you go. Well, I mean, or there you has it. <laughs> it's a right fine ship. Uh, this is something that I built in my vanilla world. And I, I called it a skyship because it was actually on my floating islands. The, the dock went out and it's just sitting there on the floating in the midair. But I decided to bring it into to here and put it in the water and it kind of works, it kind of works. Now, I forget where I originally snagged the design, I think maybe Madness 64, and uh, I liked it. I went ahead, um, for here, I went ahead and, and tweaked it so that it has the spruce and, uh, for the wood and the uh, the logs are dark oak, because I really like that combination. Uh, but I, I do like the the, the 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 light gray and the the white sails i think that's kind of fine I, I you know since this was built in vanilla this right here is the only way to get kind of an intermediary pillar and i think i may chisel that out of logs so it's a little bit smaller in fact i could chisel all of these out of logs so it looks a little bit better i may, I may do that uh anyway so a little uh fun things in here so you know it's the hms atlas with uh, the pirate king commanding yar and uh, you know if you're not so good you may have to be walking the plank and which in my my vanilla world this is much more significant because it's like you know 65 <laughs> it's like 60 some odd blocks down to the ground uh where i actually put a little pool so you could go diving off and uh, take a little splash and i went ahead and added these banners in just for fun and uh let's let's go into the captain's quarters back here so the, the captain's quarters, he's got a little chest he can look at, you know, over here this way too. And, you know, a little crafting table, got the, the a bed. I went with brown just because it kind of matches the, the decor. I may put something here. This seems to, to really be missing something. You know, thinking about it, let's grab another one of these. And uh, I've got to grab my matic back let's break that put that plank there put the crafting table there and that always looks a little bit better and i i should probably put a pot with a flower or something in here so that looks a little bit nicer than that uh, so that's the, the the captain's quarters let's close that up and we can go down here into this area this is where the the crew would be and i kind of imagine this being portholes to look out and I, I actually opened that up to, to take a look and their water is right there and it looks really ugly <laughs> so uh, the, the crews can can sit there and have some stuff down here uh, we got bilge rats you got to watch out for that and a little bit you know place where you can sit and and uh, you know take a look at uh, stuff that you've uh, booty that you've acquired and it's a it's a fun little quick little uh, ship I really really do like it and uh, Roxy has curled up right in front of my keyboard, so uh, that's that's making it uh, difficult to move around. But that, oh here, let's a uh, little bit. That's a fun, fun ship. I like it. It's 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 not a big ship. It's just a small ship. Here, let's turn around so you can see it and not me. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, 
I could uh, take the schematic and uh, put that in the description just so you can uh, build that yourself. It's pretty fun. Now, I, I still think it's super, super cheesy to build, especially building on camera uh, out of a schematic like that, but it was just way too much of a problem. Like I said, uh, down in the water, trying to figure out which blocks needed to go where. I had all the information on the, the right. Oh, it was impossible, so I said, eh. It was easier to do this in vanilla, <laughs> believe it or not, because uh, even without Schematica, I could sit there and build the, the stuff easier. You know, of course, I, I fell a couple times, but it was certainly easier to do that in vanilla. Anyway, I've got some other things to do. Uh, okay, I'm just kind of liking how that looks. Oh, I yeah, I, I'm loving having that ship parked out over there. Okay, that, that just looks really cool. Okay, so HMS uh, Atlas done. Uh, let's go get a few other things done that uh, I did recently. I do believe I am ready to do the next thing for this episode, which is kill mobs, because everybody loves to uh, kill mobs, don't we? Well, I have two methods of doing that. I've got my soul shard here, which is from soul shards the old ways you see here, and it's got witches, and there's a bunch of kills in there, 1,024. Well, because of my sword here, which has the soul stealer four, no, I lied, five, that gives me six witch kills for each witch that was killed. And I got that up to 600 some. I would run off into the mining world at night and I would just run around and see if I could find me some, some witches and I'd kill them. And it took a long time, but it was in between crafting other things, so that wasn't a, a big deal. But uh, yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, I can't remember because time all blurs. Uh, <laughs> Well, Wild Rascal uh, gave me access to his witch farm where he was spawning them using a method I'm actually not going to be using here. And I was able to get the, 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 the second or the, the, the last third or so of this done, which is, you know, many thanks to him. And I went to the end. Oh, speaking of the end, let's go over here. Uh, because the end is open, I don't need this contraption over here anymore which is the the garden cloche and we can take that out we can take that out we can break that and let's get all these guys out and I can sit there and I'll reclaim all the rest of the stuff but th it makes no sense to have this running around here anymore if I'm not actually needing that uh, you know cloches they they are fairly high tick on a server and that's why I had just the one and it was running there whenever I was physically present uh, otherwise oh, those that go down here in yeah, that section uh, and so you know made no sense to, to have it uh, running any other at any other time oh there's my stuff we'll just dump that in there for the nonce anyway so um, and so I, I was in the end chopping a bunch of endermen somebody put a, a layer at the three blocks up of endstone so that uh, the enderman couldn't get in and and I got uh, oh, a big bunch of, of um, ender pearls which was fantastic and I got this enderman soul and I said well I'm not going to the end anymore so to make this happen uh, let's first take a look at uh, this soul shard now for that I need this soul cage which iron bars piece of cake corrupted ingot which needs this stuff. Vile dust is your soul sand being cooked up, which is okay. Uh, what happened to my soul sand? Oh, I think I put my soul sand away. Let's grab 16 soul sand. And let's go ahead and cook that up there. Yep, just making sure. Yep, okay. And that's uh, getting us the soul, soul shard, what's it? And then the corrupted essence. That's the, the redstone, lapis, and all the rest. And I need 16 of those. And I believe those are on the outside and these guys go on the inside oh i must have put away all the stuff i had prepped so let's go ahead and grab my one two three four of those and that gives me my four ingots perfect and then i can sit there and go whoop. now i've got my soul cage for that and i'll put that once it's in place now for the other Let's grab one of these uh, caveman spawners and grab a wyvern core 
and combine that and that will give me a stabilized mob spawner so with this let's head down to the the mob farm and down here i did something i raised up the the roof a bunch it was just above the the logs and i wanted a little bit more space so what i want to have uh, let's pull these down let's have the witches fall a little bit more so we'll put them here and i'm hoping that the uh the the mob spawner oh are you really going to do that huh it really is okay it's gonna keep it at the uh the, the cave spider anyway uh that's just fine uh this needs a signal to be turned off and i think this needs a signal to be turned on let's hit that and see if we get any witches in here oh okay so yeah it needs the opposite all right so let, let's go ahead and come over to here to turn those off and uh, so this is my enderman witches and let's do this one here to enderman and let's go get that actually let's do the witches first I'm making a bunch of noise in there all right because the witches are on top oh and while we're thinking about it uh, let's take off my magnet because I'm grabbing way too many things here. Uh, let's grab my little wrench because I always seem to put it down wrong. All right. We, uh, I'm going to put that, if I can click it there. All right. So that will turn off the witches. So let's do that right now. Off. Now, the question is, will that turn the, 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 the cave spider one off as well? Yep, it's gonna turn them both off. Darn. Okay, I really didn't want it to uh, to to power both of them. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, since this should be stabilized, I'm going to break this one. I will probably lose the cave spider inside. Did you just disappear? All right, let's go upstairs real quick. I don't want that to have broken on me. Okay, good. <laughs> I was uh, worried because there was enough work to get that to happen. Uh, you can see I, I turned it off so it did, doesn't automatically delete my stuff. Okay, so let's take and let's get this bit of dirt there. And away it goes. Uh, this I'm going to put underneath this one here. Can I reach it? Uh, nope. Ow, Roxy, ow. She's chewing on me. Ow. Okay, I need some more blocks and... Oh, ow. Stop chewing on me. She, she came and, and sat down right on top of me, which is, which is fine. But then as I'm wiggling my, my hand around, she's chewing my arm saying, hey, I'm here trying to be comfy and what are you doing? So anyway, I shoot her away. All right, so, alley-oop. So this should 52, 53, okay. And that, let's turn that one. Uh, you gotta crouch. Oh, and are you back again? You're gonna chew on me some more? Now, it, I didn't notice anything spawning out of it. What do we got in here? It is empty. Okay, so the cave spider that was in here is gone, which is okay. I don't need that to be in there. So let's come over here. I want to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Okay. And uh, let's turn on the witches, or technically off, and we should get them. Yep, the witches are spawning, and they come down here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right, so now let's take the Enderman spawn, and it should be not spawning. And if we hit that right here on this, so it, because it's over one, they may try to spawn over there. And I've got these things here to stop them from spawning on top, because I don't want them to stay up there. Although, 
that might be close enough to kill them, even if they are standing up there. But, you know, it's kind of nice not to have them there. So let's flip that switch. Do we get Enderman? It looks like I've got the flames there. We do get Enderman. Perfect, perfect. And they're still spawning even with the lights on, which which is really very nice. Now, it doesn't look like we're getting a huge... Uh, no, I think that may... Oh, we're only getting one. And so, I'm okay. I, if, if all I want is the Enderman stuff, then or the witches, then I don't need all the rest of the mob spawning, so that is fine. Here, let's turn that off. Perfect. So, let's go ahead and dump 300 levels of experience. Yeah, I've, I've got a lot of levels of experience in there. All right, so that that works. It's kind of a, a weird setup because they're kitty counter from each other. I would like them all to be nicely centered, but they're powering each other, and I don't want to put it up a little higher because then you, they're trying to spawn up high, and I, I would need to dig up higher even still. And I, eh, nope, nope, don't want to do that. But uh, so that will get me all the Ender Pearls I need, which hopefully shouldn't be all that many. But uh, I can get all the Ender Pearls. I don't need to grow them anymore. I also got rid of my uh, Ender Pearl seeds, uh, the lily, Ender Lily seeds, because I don't need those growing down in my uh, my base anymore. And that will take care of that. And in fact, if we turn this off, we can see those mobs come flying through, and we really don't need those right now. Oh, we got a witch. Oh, it was just one of those regular witch spawners <laughs> spawning. Uh, let's turn on this. Th witches are fantastic for getting glowstone and redstone, um, the gunpowder, as well as precious, precious sticks. So it's always, it's if I can get witch spawners, I love witch spawners because they're fun. And because they fall down and, and hit the ground, you can see they're pulling out some potions, which means I might be getting some potions from them too. Let's go ahead and... Turn that on. So uh, they're stopping. Yep, they're stopping. All right, let's go check and see if we're getting potions as well. And you can see where I've been killing them and getting occasional. This one's a swiftness potion. These are healing potions. And I don't see any potions in here. So maybe it not it's not counting uh, enough to get those. So, But we'll uh, void the rest of the stuff. That'll work. Alrighty. So, yeah. These uh, ender lilies that I had over here, they're all gone. Don't need them there. Uh, this has been very handy, uh, especially since I, I killed enough of the witches that I was able to complete my witch charm. So now the witches ignore me completely, which is fantastic. But, oh yeah, I am missing um, the enderman charm. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. A uh, bunch of uses for that interdiction. Oh, that's a fun torch. Uh, the thing I'm looking for is this guy here, Enderman Charm. So I need 7 plus 2 of those, so I need 14 of these. I need 12 of these, but that's okay. Because I can math. Okay, so 1, 2. So half here, half there. These go here, and that gives me my 6 that I need. And uh, these actually, you can build some other good stuff out of that. Uh, oh, Wraith Node. Cool. Okay, um, some other stuff. Yeah, we were looking at uh, the various things that does barrel assembly make a gun. Oh, this, the Salamander's Gaze, that is that is pretty nice to, to have. Anyway, uh, enough messing around with that. I need a piece of leather. You can see how many cows I killed in the over in the mining dimension while playing with that. And so leather, string, charm bits. There's my Enderman charm. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty protected. I think the only thing I'm missing at this point are guardians. But since they don't naturally spawn, that's not something I'm all that concerned about. So uh, that will definitely work. And we just come down here and go dink dink. And uh, now that cleared up all that. I can put my uh, ring back on. Okay, uh, I want to go look at my ship again because that was looking pretty cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm liking that ship. I, I do need to update those so it doesn't look so weird, but uh, I'll do that later. For right now, I think we will uh, call this 
a f pretty good build here. Uh, I'll uh, get ready to walk the plank. Anyway, got a bunch of good stuff. We've got the, the, the ship here, and I do love this design. Uh, we've got um, two mob farms with two different, or mob spawners with two different mods to do the mob spawnering. And uh, I could get a third one in there pretty easily too, which uh, I might do that because there's some use for that. But that's another video. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here on the FTOG Feed the Beast Revelation server. And thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, Wix, you want some pets now? You want some pets?